Hall of Records was built here in 1929, there was another building here uh, to, at 200 Orange Street that was called the United Workers Building. Uh, and it was known not as the place to uh, contest your parking tickets as it is uh, today, but as the home of numerous uh, social service and charitable organizations, uh, many of them serving the large immigrant population of that era. Uh, the New Haven scholar uh, Yale professor Doug Ray has called the period, uh, this period in the early 1900s, the golden age of urbanism in New Haven because of the density of civic organizations and civic connectivity. You know, there's this period there are six different daily newspapers in New Haven in all, all different languages. And they're all highly, highly read. And, uh, and if you look at the old city directories, you'll see that there were literally dozens uh, of small organizations headquartered here uh, at the United Workers Building. It was almost like a co-working space of its time. And one of the organizations that was headquartered here uh, was the Young Men's Hebrew Association, which was founded here in 1913 and was modeled on the Young Men's Christian Association. And it was supposed to foster Jewish communal life outside the synagogue through sports and other activities. Uh, in 1935, uh, the YMHA was no longer in this building, but it merged with the Young Women's Hebrew Association and became the Jewish Community Center of New Haven that we know today, and which has uh, successively moved to, to different locations over its history as the center of gravity of, of Jewish life uh, in New Haven shifted and moved out further out to the suburbs and the needs of the community changed. So many people know the uh, 1156 Chapel Street location of the Jewish Community Center, where it was housed from the 1950s uh, until the early 1990s when it moved out uh, to Woodbridge. And that building at 1156 Chapel is, the, is now the Yale uh, School of Art. And I think that's on our other downtown tour. But that is a, another well-known location uh, of the Jewish community uh, center uh, in its pre-Woodbridge phase. But this is where it all uh, started in 1913 is the YMHA. Another organization that was headquartered here in the United Workers Building uh, was the Boys Club of New Haven, which is actually the second oldest boys club uh, in the country after Hartford's. Uh, and our forthcoming Grand Avenue tour, which Rhoda mentioned, uh, talks extensively, discusses extensively the very rich history uh, of the Boys Club uh, in New Haven, so please buy that book. Uh, and I also just want to point out, just around the corner on Court Street, where we just passed, was one of the first locations of Congregation Mishkan Israel. In 1856, Mishkan Israel purchased the third congregational church. Um, previous to that, they had worshipped primarily in private homes, uh, and also, I think, occasionally some offices. But this was when they had a little bit more money, they were doing a little bit better, they said, we're gonna actually buy a sanctuary. So they bought a church, and this was the first, but but certainly not the last instance in New Haven uh, of a, a church uh, or, or religious building being repurposed from one faith group to another. Uh, this is kind of a theme of, of Walk New Haven cultural heritage tours, this repurposing of buildings as the demographic needs and realities change uh, in New Haven. So that's something that we talk a lot about uh, in, in Walk New Haven. Um, the YMHA was founded here in 1913. I think the United Workers Building, we have a, a picture of the United Workers Building in our, uh, in our tour book. That's from the New Haven Museum. I think that building was probably built in the 1890s. So uh, it was torn down in the, you know, in the 1920s. So basically, you know, by the time the United Workers Building is raised in the mid 1920s, and they put this building up, the nucleus of Jewish life in New Haven has already begun to shift to a different neighborhood, right? So the JCC moves over to the area west of downtown, near where 1156 Chapel Street is, and near where the Oak Street Legion Avenue neighborhood is. So this is this 1900-1920 period is a period of transition for the Jewish Jewish community. You know, it's less centered around the German Jews and their institutions, and it moves to a different part of our part of town. Okay.
Okay.